Thank you, Mary. And good evening. And we'd like to thank the Oconee Enterprise for making a little time on the program for us to talk about ELOS. We know we're not the main event, but the November 8th ELOS is very, very important to this county and to the school system. All of us have gotten used to a very high quality education system with great facilities and great technology. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, what, what is expected and how it can continue the tradition of a great school system in Oconee. Um, I'd also like to recognize Randy Morris, and he is our Assistant Superintendent of Finance and, and helps a lot with, uh, with ELOS uh, funding and, and watching the money and following that. And so he is here as well, and I'll give you some contact information for both me and for him after at the end of my comments. Just want to tell you that the ELOS is very important because not only will it help us to maintain our great facilities, but also it, it supports instruction with technology. We handed out a brochure that is in your seat, in your chair, that probably does a better job of explaining what the ELOS is all about and what to expect from it than what I can. But just quickly, really on the front of it, that tells you a picture is worth a thousand words. This is High Shoals Elementary. And this school was singularly funded by you. It's always 100% funded by one cent. So you can see how far one penny goes in, uh, when we put all our pennies together. So that tells you a little bit about it. Also, you also notice that 2.5 mills of property, or a value of 2.5 mills of property tax, about $5 million per year, has been generated by ELOS since 1997. There's a lot of projects. North Oconee High School was one of them. And if you turn inside the front cover, the left side, you can see some of the things that the current ELOS has funded, uh, namely 70 classrooms because we were really in a catch-up phase in trying to provide classrooms for our uh, growing number of students, our growing student body. <coughs> on the other side, it tells you what we can legally spend the ELOS dollars for on the right side. And you can see it's mainly capital improvements. And then on the back side of this handout is what we can expect from ELOS <coughs> for. Should you vote to approve it on November 8th, then these are the projects, and they're four major projects. They've been well publicized. I won't bore you with it. You can read it yourself. But suffice it to say that it touches just about every student in Oconee County. And the main thing I want to bring your attention to is that technology, because we know how young people learn. And we have been trying to catch up with that technology curve over the last couple of years. And if you vote in the affirmative, it will help us to continue to uh, put technology before our young people. Just a few more words and then I'll sit down. <clears throat> this is not a new tax. I really want to emphasize that to you. This is just a continuation. The current ELOS will expire on January 1st, 2013. <coughs> We're simply asking you ahead of time to allow us to go ahead and roll it over and begin some projects. You'll notice in the ballot information that there is a provision for $13.5 million of bond sales. You may ask, well, why would you want to borrow money? First of all, if the interest rate right now is as low as it possibly can be. So the projects are needs, they're not wants. And so these are things that we really need to take care of right now. And then in the future, we have no idea what the construction price, price, prices are going to be. So why not capture those low construction prices right now while we can? Uh, and then the last few things are this. I really want to draw attention to the Board of Education and how well they have been stewards, how well they have minded your money and been stewards of your money. Even through the toughest economic times, the millage rate has been maintained at 6.5, 16.5 mills. And that has been largely due to the ELOS because we've been able to tap this other source of funding. If the ELOS vote does not pass, we will be very limited in what we can do. We only have a few uh, other sources of, of revenue, and one of those is state funding. And the state funding that would accrue to us in order to do these projects that are listed on the back is very limited. So uh, with that said, I would uh, like to thank you for your attention. Thank the Oconee Enterprise again for making time for us. If you have any questions, feel free to either email me at jjackson at oconeeschools.org or Randy at rmorrison at oconeeschools.org. Thank you again. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Dr. Jackson.